In this demonstration, we will create and publish a set of assembly drawings for production. The drawings will include prefabricated panels, pre-outfitting, pin jigs, and the major assemblies. Previously, we defined the build strategy and assigned parts to the appropriate level and assembly group. The assembly was reviewed, and the plates and profiles nested for fabrication. Before creating the assembly drawings, we will activate the task to manage and track the outputs produced. Assembly drawings can be generated either individually or directly for an entire unit. We start by selecting the drawing template to use for the drawing outputs. We then select the assemblies we wish to create drawings for and confirm drawing names. Here is an example of one of the panel drawings as it has been created from the template. A bill of materials is shown referencing all the parts in the assembly. The drawing view has been annotated with labels. The title block has been populated with keywords from the product model. The template styles and content are completely customizable to suit a shipyard's desired output. We will now look at the unit assembly drawing. To assist production, we will add a few more details. An orientation icon will be added to make it clear how the assembly is oriented. The assembly center of gravity will be added for reference when needed to plan lifting and turning. A quality matrix allows production to verify the accuracy of an assembly, ensuring it falls within allowable manufacturing tolerances. In sub-assemblies that include pre-outfitting, the spools, penetration components, hangers, supports, and accessories are included in the assembly drawing and accounted for in the bill of materials. For this assembly, we need to create a two-dimensional side elevation of each pipe to show dimensions and labeling in more detail. Two-dimensional views remain fully associated to the 3D model, no matter the location they were created at, should anything need to be updated. The 2D views are also automatically labeled to match the bill of materials. When defining the build strategy, we identify which assemblies were curved block assemblies and could be assembled on pin jigs. Using a predefined template, we create a pin jig drawing consisting of three views and a table. The plate assembly has been auto-leveled and the minimum pin jig height set. The pin jigs are spaced as needed along either a grid or along seam lines. In this case, we will place the pin jigs equally across one meter intervals. The table on the drawing sheet is updated with the information needed to set up the assembly. The production department has requested a comprehensive bill of materials of the unit to review before starting fabrication. At any time, it is possible to quickly generate the information needed. We start by filtering for the parts contained within our unit, either individually or by selecting assemblies, drawings, or the whole unit. Once all the items are included, we select the operation we would like to perform. As per production's requirements, we will provide an Excel spreadsheet containing all the part information. Once the assembly drawings are ready, we produce a set of PDF files for review or issue to production if they have been approved. Like with the Bill of Materials, we filter for the drawings and publish them to the desired output. Now that the assembly drawings have been produced and issued, it is time to start fabrication. For more information, visit www.ssi-corporate.com.